Hi, welcome to SolveAndGo.com. Uh, this is the second example of a technique called variation of parameters for solving non-homogeneous differential equations. Uh, we're going to solve the following differential equation. y double prime plus y is 10t. Okay, um, so first let's take a look. Um, so this is 10 is sine over cos. Uh, generally speaking, uh, when you have a quotient involved on the right hand side of a differential equation like this. Um, the method of undetermined coefficients doesn't work so well and you need to appeal to um, the next method which is a variation of parameters. Okay so first let's solve the homogeneous equation y double prime plus y is 0. Uh, we get the characteristic equation r squared plus 1 is 0 and solving for the roots we get r is plus or minus i. Okay, um, so the homogeneous solution is C1 cos t plus C2 sin t. All right, um, next we're going to set up a particular solution. Let me write the um, homogeneous solution again. We get uh, yh is C1 cos t plus C2 sine t. And then we're going to assume we have a particular solution of the following form. So instead of C1, we put U1 of t, so some unknown function of t, times cos t, plus some second unknown function of t, times sine t. Okay, we assume we have a solution of this form. We're going to differentiate it and plug it into the differential equation and see what we get. We're going to try to solve for u1 and u2. Okay, so y prime of t ends up being u1 prime cos t plus u1 times the derivative of cos, which is negative sine, plus u2 prime sine t plus u2 times the derivative of sine, which is cosine. Okay, next we're going to set a restriction on u1 and u2. Um, so it turns out we have the freedom to choose one other equation. And what we're going to do is anything involving uh, the derivative here, u1 prime or u2 prime, we're going to set equal to zero. So we set u1, so set u1 prime cos t plus u2 prime sine of t equal to 0. And then the uh, first derivative simplifies to be y prime of t is negative u1 sine t plus u2 cos t. Okay, like that. All right, um, next we want to take the second derivative. Okay, the second derivative ends up being negative u1 prime sine t plus, uh, so minus actually, minus u1, so derivative of sine is cosine t plus u2 prime cos t and then plus u2 derivative of cos is negative sine t. Okay, like that. Alright, um, so now plug everything into our original differential equation which should give y double prime of t plus y of t is tan t Okay, so we get negative u1 prime sine t minus u1 cos t plus u2 prime cos t. And then this is minus u2 sine t. Okay, plus y, which is plus u1 cos t plus u2 sine t. And that should equal tan t. Okay, so we get some terms canceling here, u1 cos t and u1 cos t. 
and u2 sine t and plus u2 sine t here. So what we get is negative u1 prime sine t plus u2 prime cos t is tan t. Okay, um, so we end up with two equations. So we have this one here, and then we had our original restriction, which was the following. So keep that. Our first equation, so this will be equation two. Equation one was the restriction we set, which was u1 prime cos t, that's u1, plus u2 prime sine t is 0. OK, so solving the first equation um, for u1 in terms of u2 gives u1 prime cos t equals negative u2 prime sine t. And so u1 prime is negative u2 prime sine t over cos t, which is negative u2 prime tan t. OK, um, so we have this here. Uh, let's plug that into equation 2. OK, so plugging this into 2, u1 is now negative u2 prime tan t. So we multiply that by sine. And then we add u2 prime cos t. And that all equals tan t. OK. And then we end up solving for, um, so I'm missing a negative sign. Aha. So uh, this was. The second equation had a negative sign out front, and solving for the first, solving the first one, we get a negative sign. So this is actually a positive. Okay, so this is the uh, the equation here. We're going to solve for u two prime. So solving this, you get u two prime equals tan t divided by tan t sine t plus cos t. So tan t sine t, uh, make myself some more room here, plus cos t. OK. Uh, I'm going to simplify this a little bit. OK, so that's u2 prime. What I'm going to do, um, I want to use, uh, so let's take this one step further here. So. Um, tangent times sine. So let's see. We get tan t divided by um, sine squared t over cos t. So that's tangent times sine plus cos t. Now, if I multiply the bottom of this equation by cos t, I eliminate this cos t in the bottom here and make this a cos squared, which ends up being sine squared plus cos squared, which is 1. So to do that, I need to multiply the bottom by cos t. So I multiply the top by that as well. OK, so what we get is tan t times cos t divided by sine squared t plus cos t squared t. OK, so again, we get that by uh, multiplying the top and the bottom of this equation by cos t. So this is tan t cos t. And then the bottom is 1, sine squared plus cos squared. OK, and then simplifying that yet again, tan times cos is sine. So we get sine t here. All right, um, so we have u2 prime. Let me write this here. OK, so let's get u1 prime. u1 prime ended up being negative u2. Um, what's this equation? Ah, negative u2 prime 
tan t. Okay, from before, times tan t. Okay, and we want to simplify this if possible. Um, so the thing to do here, uh, well, we're going to write this out. So this is negative sine squared t over cos t. So that's sine times tangent. And then sine squared we're going to write as um, 1 minus cos squared t. Like that, divided by cos t. And then simplifying a little bit, we get negative 1 over cos t. And then plus, so cos squared over cos is cos t. And finally, that ends up being, um, let me make sure I have my, my signs right here. Um, yes, so we get um, negative secant t plus cos t. That's u2 prime, uh, u1 prime rather. Okay, so u2 prime we had up here. u1 prime is down here. We're going to integrate each to get u2 and u1. So let me integrate this up here, u2 prime. So we integrate um, sine t to get uh, u2, and that ends up being negative cos t. Like that. Okay, so u1 prime ended up being negative secant plus cos. So we get negative secant t plus cos t. Okay, so we integrate this. The integral of secant is ln of 10 plus secant t. So we get negative ln of tan t plus secant t. And then we integrate cos, and we get sine that. So that's u1. So we have u2 and um, u1. We plug everything in and um, let's see what we get. So um, our particular solution ends up being y of t equals u1, which is this here, times cos t, so it's all of this. Uh, let me let me try to fit this in a little better. We get y equals u1 times cos plus u2 which is minus cos t, so I'll say minus cos t times sine t. OK, let's see what we get here. This simplifies a little bit. We end up with the following. y equals negative ln of tan t so down here there was a bracket okay this is all inside ln so tan t plus secant t times cos t that's here plus sine times cos And then minus cos times sine. OK, so these two terms cancel. And we end up with negative ln tan t plus secant t times cos t is our particular solution. And then finally, our general solution is the solution to the homogeneous equation plus this particular solution. So y is c1 cos t plus c2 sine t 
minus ln of tan t plus secant t times cos t. Okay, and that's the solution to our differential equation. Um, if you like, you can check that this actually solves the equation, and that's it.